of Jesus, especially in the most unlikely places. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got two problems that plague my life. I, I have more than two, but two that plague my life.
in ways that are almost palpable. I know in my journey that happens often, particularly in the hospital as family gathers, as friends come in, as people face illness with courage and strength. You can touch the holiness at times. I know you've experienced that, haven't you? Just not if you have. Okay. See, some people nod when I say nod. That's great. Now, I could go on and on and tell you about my experiences of encountering Jesus in the most unlikely places. But I want to do something that preachers very rarely do. I want to hear your voices. So take a second. Think about where you have encountered Jesus in your life. And I'm not going to pick anybody who, you know, is sitting on their hands and doesn't want to be picked. But is there anyone who would be willing to share a story? of where you have met Jesus in your life.
Christ's presence in the service? Anyone else? You know, for a group of congregationalists, that was a pretty decent testimony. <laughs> You know, I remember when I was in college, it was Baptist at the time, you know, which kind of figures in with the whole testimony thing, I guess. My student group had come up to the big, scary city of New York from Richmond. And we were working in the Lower East Side with working poor and homeless. And I was a freshman at the time, and I remember thinking how great it was that I was going to get to come up to New York and help people. We had a foot clinic that we ran. Have any of you ever been part of a foot washing ceremony in the church? Yeah, try with homeless people. You know, typically it's a ceremonial washing of feet. But this spring break trip, the purpose was to offer foot care to the homeless. And so we were there with students from Medical College of Virginia. Yeah, Medical College of Virginia. I'll say that five times real fast. Plus students from VCU where I was a student. And we set up basins of water with betadine and Epsom salts. And homeless people would sit down and take off shoes that perhaps hadn't been off since it had turned cold. And we would wash their feet, trim toenails. Our medical students would deal with actual problems. But kneeling there at the foot of a homeless person offering such intimate care it was like seeing Jesus in a way that was truly unexpected. To look up into a bearded face with lines around the eyes, with signs of a hard winter past, and have a holy connection. And I came away with the sense that, like Pablo was saying, I have received more than I could ever give. We all encounter Christ in the unlikeliest of places, like Cleopas and that other disciple. When we open ourselves to experience that presence, our lives are indeed transformed. And we can't contain the excitement and the joy. My prayer for you is that we might today experience that presence among us as we break bread together as we share the ancient and sacred story. My further prayer for you is that as you go forth from this place, that your eyes might be open to the Jesus who travels with you along the road. May you touch that Jesus, and may you be touched as well. Amen.